Okay, Art of Sports here with new WBO welterweight champion Jeff Horn. Tell me, man, how what's the biggest life change you've had since uh, since those words were spoken? Hey, that that what you just said, <laughs> new, never gets old. I never get sick of it. I always get like, those butterflies every time you say it. So, um, but just just the people, the recognition of being world champ and, and ranked number one is um, it's a big accolade. I, I, I love here. During the fight, you know, you're obviously in it. You're you're feeling the punches. You're throwing the punches. Did you feel that that you were winning? The momentum was in your side. Did did you kind of feel that going into the the, the decision? Yeah, I, I felt like I had done uh, one more rounds, definitely in the fight. But um, coming to the decision, it's always hard, especially against a legend like Pacquiao, um, to get that decision in your favor. Even though I felt like I'd won, I didn't know whether the decision was going to go my way. But I was very relieved when it, when I heard the news. Speak on that environment for a little bit, because here in the States, you know, it, it was obviously during the day over there, so it was kind of different for us. I'm sure it's different for you, too. I'm sure you're used to fighting at night. So seeing it on TV, it was during the, it was daytime over there, like, you know, 55,000 in the crowd. Just speak on that kind of aspect of it. Yeah, it was, uh, I suppose, different different for me. I'm used to fighting at nighttime as well, but um, I guess it, it fit in with the American public uh, on ESPN to, to showcase it at, at the right time when people are going to most are going to be watching it and um, for me it's just changing training I, I love training in the afternoon anyway so uh, that's what I was doing and just to prepare my body for that time uh, obviously afterwards uh, Teddy Atlas you interviewed with Teddy Atlas and and he was honest with you that he you know he, he said he thought you had lost some points uh, you know kind of hearing that was that kind of the first you started hearing that maybe people didn't believe that you had actually deserved the decision yeah definitely that was the first I'd heard about it from Teddy and I was kind of shocked to hear about it straight away and um, it's a bit like kind of brings you down a little bit when you're in that, that high moment but I still just was like I don't care I'm world champion <laughs> you can't change it now <laughs> what so what has um, like how have you kind of dealt with that obviously you've heard that more you know social media all that stuff like does that damper it at all kind of what, what's kind of your reaction to all of that feedback no I, I just take it as something that's always going to happen you're always going to have people that tell you you can't do something I've had in the past people saying that I've been lucky to win the numerous fights and the numerous trips I've been on um, as an amateur and as a pro as well so I've heard it my whole, whole career I'm going to keep hearing it forever so <laughs> Um, I've just got to deal with it. How have you watched the fight since? Yes. So, like watching it, scoring it yourself, kind of. What, what was like kind of the rounds you felt you won, like score-wise, like? Look, it's hard to remember because I watched it pretty much. I think the the day after, but I, I pretty much saw it the same. Um, I possibly gave myself one or two extra rounds. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, it was a, it was a close fight, but I feel like I definitely won it. So. Now you're the new champion. Pacquiao did say yesterday that he wants to continue fighting. He does have the rematch clause. Obviously, I'm sure you're open to that. Um, but say he decides to go elsewhere, fight some, somebody else. Is there a name in particular that you'd like to, to fight next if it were not for Pacquiao? Yeah, obviously we're waiting on Pacquiao to make that decision. Um, we'll take the rematch if he wants that. That's what the clause is there for. But other than that, I guess the, the main name on my list is the guy that's just come back, and that's Mayweather. So... If he wants to have a true boxing fight, not fight a uh, UFC fighter, uh, let's get the record for real. <laughs> and I, I heard you were there yesterday, right, at the at the press conference and stuff. What did you think about that, that whole kind of spectacle, all that stuff? I actually couldn't make the press conference yesterday. Uh, oh, okay. um, I saw, saw the highlights of oh. it, but I was busy going to different shows. Oh. How, so, but what it, what, so what's your opinion on that fight just in general? I mean, I know you said he's fighting a UFC fighter, but... Yeah. I think it's an easy fight for Mayweather. I think he's he's going to easily dominate, and he's going to pretty much choose um, when he wants to hit McGregor and when he wants to dodge punches. It's just how good he is. That's why he's probably the best um, defensive fighter there has been ever. And uh, just three weeks after that mega fight in the middleweight division, Canelo versus Triple G. What are your thoughts on that, man? Who wins that? Look, I've always thought Triple G wins it because... He's just been an unstoppable force for so long. Um, Canelo is still still learning, I guess, as a fighter. He's still pretty young, but uh, you never know. He's definitely a better boxer than Triple G, but Triple G just has that power. It was a great, uh, great interview, man. Congratulations again. And, and tell the fans where to follow you, social media, all yeah. that stuff. So if you want to follow me, follow me. It's uh, Jeff Horn 88 It's my Facebook page. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that's the same. Or Jeff Horn Boxer for Instagram and Twitter. Great. Well, Jeff Horn, congratulations again, sir, and uh, best of luck with whatever happens next, mate. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, brother. Appreciate Thanks. it.